Hi, uh, hey, it's Sexy J. Quick and dirty time into the new digital SAT, like I told you guys about every single new type of question, new type of content, and even the change in the answer choice. So the fact that it's digital, does that matter? Not really, because it doesn't change how you study. What matters? How do you handle the different curveballs they will throw at you, okay? And there are a lot of curveballs. Number one, I'm doing this, well, not number one, because I already did a video on the digital SAT, but the number one thing I think people are going to be kind of freaked out about is this poem. Right? So you can say, oh, I, there's a reason I chose not to take AP Lit. I don't want to do poetry, right? Honestly, I don't really like reading poetry that much either, even though I'm a you know, literature nerd, because poems are hard. Poems are difficult. And if you guys were to look at like AP Lit stuff and look at the poetry, you're like, wow, do they really want me to do poetry on the SAT? That might be a little bit discouraging. But let me tell you guys, it doesn't matter at all, okay, what the poetry is. Because, for example, you guys might see with the words like thy. I'm like, I don't know. That's like the King James Bible. I don't know what that is. It doesn't matter at all. I'll show you guys. You can do this problem without even looking at the poem at all. Literally 0%. How do you do that? Well, right here, guys. So if you guys have been subscribers, which you have, thank you. Uh, if you guys are new, also very welcome. Um, what really matters is not the fact that what the text is, but what type of question is it? What type of question is this, guys? I expected you guys to call back, but you guys, the subscribers, probably did. Uh, the main purpose, so it's a purpose question. Okay. Why did the author write this thing, right? Okay, so I'm looking for a purpose, and this is going to be artistic. Looking at now the question itself, the following text is from Martha Samuel's 1909 poem, Our People's Voice. Okay, so that's probably going to be either um, um, African Americans, okay, the black experience, or the female experience, or some type of immigrant experience, any group that is not the so-called mainstream, that's gonna be our people's voice, okay? So, Samuels is referencing an esteemed black author of an era. So, we already spoke about in the ACTs and the SATs, when I speak out about a real person, I'll say nice things about them almost all the time, especially if it is an artist, and doubly especially if it is a woman artist, black artist, Asian artist, Hispanic artist, any of those things, obviously we're going to be praising that person and appreciative. And let's also take a look at the word our. If I say our, that means we are on the same team. That's my guy. Yeah. So from here, what is the main purpose of the text? Our people's voice. I'm talking about an author, right? So if I'm talking about an author and saying our people's voice, and I love that guy, what am I saying? He's our spokesperson. He's our voice. He is our voice. He's our spokesperson. So um, this poem was written to show appreciation for how this author wrote about the black people's experiences in America and wrote about it very well. And it was moving and I like it. And I really am thankful that he's here. All of those like wholesome types of things that's going to be the answer, okay? So with that said, um, also note, guys, how repetitive these um, answer choices are and how they use the phrase certain writer in every single answer choice. I doubt College Board saw my videos and decided to do this, but remember I used to say, if I have phrase like certain phenomenon, that's almost always the answer. I think they kind of caught on to the fact that we caught on to that. So they are using that phrasing a lot more now. So this is on the new digital SAT, much more common. I feel a little bit validated, but yeah. Okay, so my answer here, this is the other thing. You wanna have your answer in your head. What's their answer? This is my guy, he speaks for us, I love it. That's what I want. A, to highlight a certain writer's impressive technical prowess, what is that? He's really skilled, not the main point. B, I had a lot of good times and bad times with the dude, not related. C, he wrote historically accurate accounts of an era. It seems kind of close, right? And we'll leave that for now. And then look, let's get deep. To show appreciation for, to show appreciation for. That's my main point. Whenever I have our, and again, artists, all of that, I love the dude, right? So D is much, much more likely because to show appreciation, we're almost done there. And then for a certain writer, for being particularly knowledgeable about human nature. Let me take a break from this particular question for a second and take a step back. When we have literature questions, guys, just because it has human nature doesn't mean it's the correct answer, but it's the default. Almost every literature will speak about human nature. Just think about it. If I have a poem about frogs, which was on the actual SAT literature, is the poem actually about frogs? Am I talking about frog nature in my poetry? Probably not. It's going to be some type of metaphor about humans. So knowledge about human nature, that is kind of like the default setting for um, literature, okay? Just like in a science, a recent new discovery, that's kind of the default setting. So my answer here is D, 
to show appreciation for a certain writer. So is that the same thing as he's our guy? Well, yeah, that's what you're doing. We say, oh, he's my guy. He knows how we are. And yeah, he's the best. That's what the is. Okay. So notice that we literally didn't have to read any of the poem. But if you want evidence from the poem, we have the word we throughout. We, we, right? And then we have, we have become unknown to known. Why? Because of our author. And also thy, that means you are speaking to the author. He has a sharp ear, soft eye. He sings true of all the things we think and all we do. So if you had picked up on that through reading the poetry, great. And if you guys want to discuss poetry with me, I'm down to do that with you guys. But don't panic. Don't freak out because there's poetry on the, on the SAT because they're not really making this a literature test. Okay. It's still the SAT. It's just like in a disguised form. Okay. So um, that's it for today's quick and dirty. And I will be tackling the topics that I think will throw people off the most first. So the things that really look different. And as you guys saw here, it's really not that different because the strategies I just spoke about are very, very similar to, as you guys might know, um, the just the main purpose question I've already tackled. Okay, so it's the same thing, just like a different type of clothing. So don't get uh, tricked by it, guys. Don't be intimidated. In fact, like I said in the earlier video, be excited about this opportunity because face it, guys, my channel's not that huge. Other people are not going to have access to this information. So use it, get your scores up while other people are kind of like not doing the best, which means you got to study every day with who? With Sexy J, the best way, the exact way. You guys already know. Bye bye, guys.